in, in honor of yesterday's 420, which is a holy day of obligation for me. <laughs> and I know my wife is home listening to this, and she's real happy because Lainey's right down her trail. My wife reads all these things, and yep. she buys just the right stuff. She's very conscious of that. And dig it, man, uh, as, a, as a reptilian mammalian uh, brain dude yeah. whose neocortex kicks in only from time to time. I've noticed that. Yeah. I leave it there. But a lot of that stuff is righteous, man. You know, when you're trekking through the woods and you see a thing about heads on a stick, you leave that village alone. At least I do. That's how you get to be 81. You, know, you got to pay attention to stuff. You go down another village where flowers are out there and they say welcome. And I like it when Joe is on the money with me. I wrote down stuff this morning before Joe got on and then Joe agreed that the right thing to do was to choke that town down. And there were many nuances to that, man. It's like you know the dude is somewhere in there. Start on the five ring in your target. Then get down to the six ring, the seven ring, the eight ring, the nine ring. And bingo, you got the bullseye and the dude is right there. You don't want any way for them to get out of there until you can get their trip going. So it seemed logical to me and it seemed like a mammalian type of thing. I don't apologize for that stuff. I seen a little lizard on a clip the other day, a little tiny lizard. And he was going to take a swim in the pond where the big bullfrog was hanging out and eating guys like him. So the little lizard got down there, and when the bullfrog started to make a move, he looked up like this, and the lizard showed his underthroat, which was orange, which is a big signal to these wild kind of things that that's not an edible trip. The bullfrog didn't want to hear it, man, swallowed this little lizard right down. The lizard's full of poison. And the dude even said, the narrator guy, he said, now watch out, it's going to be a battle between stomach acid and poison. And I said to myself, I'm rooting for the poison. <laughs> and dig it, don't you know the big old bullfrog died and this little dude crawled out of his you know mouth. You should, you, you should take over Mr. Dr. Zeus's uh, uh, role. You know, you write kids books. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Patrick Carlin, yeah, the, uh, the, the poisonous toad in the hat comes back. Thank you, Patrick Carlin, yeah. thank you, Bill Flagging. Billsville.com. Billsville.com. Thank you, Laney Rice, your vital health of Woodstock.com. Thank you, Owen, for showing price. Thank you. Yeah, right. Have a good week, everybody. Stay tuned for Ron Van Warmer. He keeps you company the rest of the morning right here at Radio.